Hello, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to another piece of advice. My name is Lockie Kuzoli, and I'm glad you're here to learn and grow with me. Um, yeah, welcome back. Um, today's episode will be super short. I just want to give you a nice little exercise to do at any time during the day. It's all about bringing yourself back to the present moment and getting getting back in touch with yourself. I'm looking out onto my backyard. It's a beautiful sunny afternoon and I'm just thinking about things that I'm grateful for and even furthermore things, people that I'm grateful for and moments that I'm grateful for and things that I'm excited for as well. Um, and things in the past that I am grateful for that have happened. I think we have an idea of the past and the future of not being able to um, reconcile with either one of them. I still think it's okay to look in the past and think of things that are amazing that you were really grateful for that happened, things that made you smile. And then looking into the future, things that you're excited excited for. Um, I think this idea of getting into the present moment is great, but we can balance that with appreciating the past and being excited for the future. Um, are you okay day in Australia has just passed. Um, it's a great day to be in touch with other people's mental health as well as your own. And yeah, the technique I'm going to give you guys today, you may have heard of it. It's called 54321 grounding technique. Um, I teach it to kids that I coach and even kids that I've um, taught in the classroom. And I get them to think of five things they can see, four things they can feel, three things they can hear, two things that they smell, and one thing they can taste. It essentially allows them to you know, shift their focus from something stressful to something simple. You know, it's calming them down in the process because their attention has shifted. And you know, grounding and even further, the expression of gratitude is incredible. It's positively linked to higher levels of well-being. We know this. And a lot of people incorporate it as part of their morning routine to really get them on the right page, get them on the same page as the world around them. Um, really gives them like a kickstart to the day that other things can't really supplement. Um, but yeah, the 54321 grounding technique that I want to give you, it runs as follows. So think of five things that you are grateful for right now, four of your best qualities, uh, three things that you are incredibly excited for in the future, two things that you are enjoying in life right now that you worked really hard for some of the things that you've earned and then one memory that will always make you smile. Um, I'll do mine to help you get started. So my five things that I'm grateful for right now, this house and roof over my head. One, my amazing friends like Jack, Finn and Pete, Finn and Peter, shout out to you guys. Um, number three, my girlfriend, Maddie, love you. Number four, really simple one but just hearing music that ability to hear music i was thinking about this the other day i was just like jamming out to something i'm like wow i am so grateful for this ability to just enjoy this piece of music that has been meticulously created and then i can just access at the push of a button that is incredible so that ability to hear music and my dog cindy she's coming near the end of her time and taking more time to be grateful for her being the household dog for the past uh, five, seven, I think seven years. It's been a long time, actually. Even 10 years. Um, that's my five things I'm grateful for. Four qualities or four of my best qualities. I'd say I'm charismatic. I'm fun, hardworking, and caring. Um, three things that I'm incredibly excited for. Moving out next year with my girlfriend. Um, two is recovering from my injury i've had a hamstring injury which has sidelined me from footy and it's been really incredibly frustrating and i'm so excited to give you guys a piece of advice on that whole whole thing that whole journey um once i'm over it because oh my goodness it has been so difficult but a great learning experience nonetheless um and just moving again as part of that one being able to move and exercise like i'd like to um and a more immediate thing that I'm excited for is I've, I'm meeting with some friends tomorrow to 
catch the sunrise and go for a surf. I don't surf, so I'll just body surf or um, chill in a towel on the beach. But, you know, catching up with some friends in the morning, especially with friends I haven't uh, caught up with all together for a bit. Um, so that'd be really nice. I'm excited for that. Um, two things that I'm enjoying in life right now that I've worked hard for, um, path to peace coaching that took a long time to really understand and for me to really nail down what it was, but I'm understanding it more now. And I didn't even think I'd be able to be doing this for people. If you asked me three years ago, like I'm able to help people in the same situation as me and particularly kids i'm able to work with kids and give them a boost a head start that i guess i wish i had um but it's beautiful i'm able to work with kids in this really incredible education but transformational space i love it and i'm really grateful um i'm very i'm just enjoying it i am enjoying it and it doesn't exactly feel like work it just feels like me being myself with someone and bringing them up um, and also the tutoring that I do with that is good stuff. Um, I'm talking myself up, but it doesn't matter. With you know, this is this is what grounding is: is actually giving yourself the credit that you deserve at times. Um, other thing that I'm enjoying in life right now that I worked hard for is uh, music and my piano that I just bought, and I've been taking piano lessons for a bit. It is hard work, but it's it's very technical, but like I'm really getting on top of it now and I'm writing my own songs now. I'm learning other people's songs, but I'm writing my own stuff and I'm really understanding it now. I'm really enjoying it. And it took a long time to get to that point. So very grateful for that. Uh, and one memory that will always make me smile, I'm going to put two. Um, winning the grand final last year, I always think of that when I do any breathing just to spark that like, wow, like that was an incredible moment running out onto the field. Um, after the siren, rent, siren went, um, and I remember the bloke who was next to me, we were like pushing each other and like sprinting, like screaming at the same time. It's incredible. That always makes me smile. And the last day of my previous placement for teaching was a beautiful day. It was the last day of term and all the kids really got around me and the thank you card that they showed me was really nice. And, um, they were excited for me to come back and, um, saying they'll miss me and I was returning that because I really did enjoy that time with them. It was a very, very challenging time, but it was good. It was great. Like I learned so much and it was really cool to see it through with those kids, um, you know, because teaching is incredible. Um, and there we go. That's it. That's, that's, that's what I'm saying. Just try this grounding technique, write it down, send it to a friend, have fun with it. And like, remember you can incorporate it as part of your morning routine or any time in the day. Like you can even create your own grounding list. There's no formula. It's just about giving yourself a sort of symbolic hug to remind yourself that you are loved, you are worthy, and that you have everything you will ever need in this life at this moment. So yeah, thank you for listening. I love you for listening in and trying to learn and grow with me. Uh, I'll see you in the next one and have a good one. Thank you.